Spring by Charles Murray Spring at last comes blan in Sandy's rank in Uti's win Lows a kay and let him run Spring at last comes blan in See the yalla on the win Poo yon ragged robin men Spring at last comes blan in Sandy's rank in Uti's win Hey, get him with the tractor. Oh, hey, hey. get them with the tractor. Tell them about tractors. No, I don't like a tractor. And I feel next to us. Oh, the, the neeps is why. Somebody next to neeps? But we still want the neeps and saying we, we get into silage. You get into silage? Yes. Oh, you silage. must have smelt amazing back then. Oh, and then I, I took ham silage then. You took ham silage? Yeah. Oh, I, what would you use that for? Your garden? A, a new tractor, new big bogey. A new bogey and double wheel in bogey. silage. Ah. What a combo. We were speaking earlier on the day about some of the Doric words that we learned in my younger day, and that the Doric is more or less native to this corner. So this is a poem that I learned many years ago. The Puddock. A puddock sat by the Lochin's brim, and he thought there was never a puddock like him. He sat in his hurdies, and he waggled his legs, and he cock at his head as he glowered through the sags. The big zee wee crater was feeling that prude that he gap at his moo and he croak at out loud. Gin you'd all like to see a puddock quo he, you'll never all swear get a better than me. Now I've families and I've wives and I've a wheel plenished him. We meet for my thrapple and drink for my wain. The lasses I thought me a fine strap and chill. Oh, I can, I'm the very McPuddock I'm sale. Now I'm nine to blah, but the truth I'm in tell, I really am the McPuddock I'm sale. No, a heron was hungry and needing to sup. So he nabbed the puddock and he gobbled him up. He wrinkled his feathers. Peer thing quo he, but puddock's is nay for the east to be. Oh, is that one to come off? No, permanent. Oh. I've got my mum though, so yeah. she, she kind of complain about them, so I've got my mum. Oh, nice. <laughs> He's got a tattoo of a little girl on this, mm -hmm. on this, uh, one of his arms. Yeah. And when he married me, there was a photograph of me and exactly the little girl. Oh, and he had this in his arm. No way. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
so your Doric's probably a lot different from mine. Like Fiduka, Fiduka woolly jumper, like a fisherman's jumper. See, I cut a ganji. And a lot of my pals for the broth cut a ganzi. Do you think there's specific Doric words to this area? Which one are you thinking of? Puckley. A wee puckley. Betty, can you think of any Doric words local to this area? Oh, well, and I wouldn't say skedaddle. Oh, skedaddle. Oh, <laughs> what's your favourite Doric word? Fickering. Fickering. <laughs> that is a good one. Hi. Is I fickering, wees? I reckon. School, were you allowed to speak Doric in school? No way. No? You'd have got belted for speaking Doric? Really? Oh. It is, isn't it? Because they're encouraging Doric now. You didn't get beaten or anything again. That weren't quite so far back as that. But they didn't uh, think it was a good idea for us to learn the language that we couldn't go on to finish. We were unfortunately, we were told at primary to stop speaking Dory. We got penalised, we got given lines, etc. The teachers were very under very strict instructions from the headmistress to get us to speak proper Queen's English.